Folkestone, Georgia, a rail fan's paradise. Here you'll see a steady stream of freight cars of all shapes and sizes. But of course, there will always be one piece of rolling stock that gets everyone's attention, rail enthusiast or not, the caboose. And while you won't see these things riding the rails much anymore, this one has found a second life, welcoming guests looking to get the full Folkestone experience. So let's climb aboard and see what it's like to spend the night in an iconic piece of railroad history. On the outside, this thing may look small, and it is, but you won't be roughing it. Inside, you'll find everything you need, a sink, a bathroom with a shower, a microwave, and a fridge. The caboose has two bunk beds and can sleep four people. There's also a TV in here, but I doubt any true rail fans will even turn it on. All you have to do is open the back door for a great view. Climb down the car's steps and you'll find a back porch perfect for relaxing and rail fanning. And if you've got a scanner, tune it to this frequency and you'll know what's coming. But if you don't have one, don't worry. The train horns and nearby crossing gates will give you a heads up. And by the way, the action does not stop when the sun sets. You can watch trains all night if you want to. I noticed the traffic was heaviest in the late afternoon and evening and early in the morning. And trust me, you'll have company no matter what time you wake up. There's plenty of wildlife around here, but if you want to be around some other people, walk over to the Folkestone Railfan viewing platform. They've got a scanner and plenty of information posted if you're unfamiliar with the area. There's also another caboose near here that you can spend the night in. That chessy yellow is hard to miss. But it's not all about trains here. Folkestone is also known as the gateway to the Okefenokee Swamp. Now, if you're a diehard rail fan, you're gonna wanna know a little bit about the history of where you're staying. Looking at this car's trucks, you can see l and cast into the metal. A little internet research says the caboose started its life as Louisville and Nashville number 152. The l and would eventually become part of the family line system, along with several other railroads. All of those railroads would ultimately make up the seaboard system, and later, what we now know as CSX. According to the car's owners, they found it in a salvage yard in Waycross, Georgia, a major CSX hub about 40 minutes northwest of Folkestone. The car was moved to its current location in 2010. If you didn't already know, Caboose has served as a train conductor's rolling office and a place where crew members could watch over their train for any problems. This car is known as a bay window caboose. Instead of having a cupola on top, the windows extend outward from the car body to give good visibility of the sides of the train. And these days, the view is still great. Whether you're a rail fan, a history buff, or you just want a break from standard hotel rooms, this old caboose will be a memorable experience for anyone looking for a nostalgic adventure. Mm -hmm.